Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with an interesting video. Today I want to share some of my opinions about lighters. Okay, I've had this question come up many times. What kind of lighter do I prefer? What kind of lighter uh, do I like to use? So here it is, uh, the video for you explaining my opinions about lighters. I hope you enjoy, so stay with me. Okay, right now I've got a pile of lighters back here that I bought at the store and I'm going to just kind of go through them briefly one at a time. And I'm going to talk a little bit about each type of lighter. I'm going to kind of flick them and see what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Now this one is the Ronson. This is a pretty cool lighter. I can't remember where I purchased this, but these are electronic uh, disposable lighters. I do not think that they're refillable. So these are Ronson. Let's crack this open. Let's take a look just briefly. And uh, for those of you who don't understand much about Ronson, Ronson is basically the direct competitor to the Zippo company. So let's take a look and see. Let's see what we have here. So we have a nice looking little lighter. Let's let's see. Basically push the button, get a decent little flame something like that. The button feels a little bit uh, stiff and the plastic feels kinda kinda weak. But nonetheless looks like a decent little lighter. These are kind of inexpensive. They're not that not that much. Looks like it what it looks like it does what it's supposed to do. Not too bad. What I want to do is I want to take this little flashlight here and I'm going to turn this on. I'm just going to look through the plastic. This is something that I like to do. I like to be able to see how much fuel they have and that flashlight makes that possible with these. So that's kind of kind of a cool little lighter. The next couple are made by the Clipper company. These ones are like super cheapos as far as I'm concerned anyway and if you're familiar with these um, I think I got them like at Walmart or something and they're they're kind of cool let's take a look I've never really used one of these so I'm not too sure let's find out I think my mom had one one time or something and I borrowed it I don't know these ones let's see kind of a cool color clipper crystal you can see down inside you know Whoops, sorry about that. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the the wheel where you roll. It's like a funny shape. They're not refillable. But, you know, it doesn't look like a bad little lighter for the money. These are real cheap lighters. Looks like it works pretty good. Yeah, I'd probably do that. So you got the Rob Ronson, and you got the first clipper. Let's take a look and see what this next clip, clipper is. This one, clipper, long-lasting lighter. Five lighters, up to 3,000 lights. These are large. Let's take a look and see what we got here. These are, again, like I mentioned earlier, these are clipper. It's a big lighter, pretty good size. I didn't check that last one to see if we can see the fuel through there. You can't see the light hardly at all. Very dim. There's the fuel level. See that? See the fuel in there? Let's take a look at this one. Oh, absolutely. You can see the fuel level. See the fuel in there dancing around? So these are the Clipper Long Lasting. They have the same kind of funny shaped wheel. You can see the little mechanism down inside is plastic. They have kind of a unique shape to them. Uh, I like how the bottom is clear. You can see, you know, the fluid inside. The wheel has a funny shape. The button feels kind of cheesy, like it might break or something. But nonetheless, it looks like a decent lighter. 
The next one is the Bic Click. Now this is something that I found interesting. It says right here, this product is intended for sale at Dollar General. If found elsewhere, please call this 1-800-334-whatever-9338. Bic Click. Let's take a look and see what we got here. You can see that the colors are or excuse me yellow and green. Personally, when I'm looking for lighters, they're usually going to go in a pack or something like that. So I try to find the brightest colors that I can. You know, yellows and greens and oranges and stuff like that. There, you can see the fuel levels. This one's a little higher on the left. The one on the right's a little lower. Bic click. It's a real soft kind of button. Feels good in the hand. Feels pretty sturdy. Not too bad. The next one, or should I say two, these next two, you can see I got, like I said, the colors. I tried it, I bought this one specific because it had orange, yellow, and green. And then this other one, it had yellow, orange, and blue. And these are the Bic Minis. You can see in my hand here. The Bic Mini is one that I really like to carry in my pocket. It's a good lighter. You can see the fuel level in there. This one's getting kind of low. See down in the bottom, this is about almost out of fuel. This is a good little lighter. Not refillable. You can pretty much see through the plastic on this. You have a safety mechanism so your kid has trouble doing it. They have to push this little ring down and things like that to get it to go. Which leads us to the next Bic, which is the Bic Classic. And these are these are an actual full-size lighter. Let's take a look at this. There's the packaging. You can pick these up anywhere. They make a little advertisement up here. It says up to two times twice the lights of the other leading brands made in America, which is really cool. I can dig that. Made in America. Let's see if we can see our fuel level. Yeah, you can see that one's got some fuel in it. This is a Bic Classic. Everything in it, you can see down inside, okay, Remember I, I re referenced that other one that the, the little piece was plastic? Down in here you can see that that piece is brass. At least it's a brass color. So I, I really like the way the Bics are built. They put out a pretty good flame. There's no flame adjustment and they're not refillable. That's the Blick, Bic Classic. And that's the same thing. Again, remember I said I buy in colors. I got an or a, a yellow, yellow, orange, orange, white, brown. Those are colors that I like to have around my pack. Now another one is the Scripto. Scripto is a pretty popular lighter. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. I think that what there's four, there's seven of them in here, like under two dollars, if I remember correctly. Can't remember offhand, but these are the Scripto. Let's set this package over here somewhere. I got like this pile of lighters over here. Let's take a look at this. Kind of looking down inside to see if that little thing is plastic or brass. It looks like it's plastic to me. And you can definitely see the the fuel level. These these ones you can adjust the flame on them. So let's let's take a look and see. Go up to there down to there. They also have a safety mechanism on them and the safety mechanism is basically these outer wheels will kind of roll. They're not a bad lighter. They're not refillable. They're disposable throwaways. I've had pretty good luck with them. Not a bad lighter. Now over here I've got you know from one of my gas stations this is a uh, just a Maverick lighter. It's I don't even know who it's made by. There's like some letters there. Snap it says right here. 
see if I can get my light. It says snap right there. Snap. I don't know who makes this. It looks like it could be refillable. There's a little rubber thing in there and a brass deal. Let's see, can't tell the level because it's got this sticker around it, but if you remove that sticker, you could probably refill it. It kind of looks similar to the Bic Click as far as the grooves in the handle, in the notch here. But its I don't think it's made by Bic. It's a whole different shape. Puts out a pretty good flame. And you do have a flame adjuster. Let's go a little higher and see what it looks like. Wow, look at that flame. That's pretty high. That's more on the low side. I personally like a smaller flame. Something about a little smaller than that. So that's one. That's kind of cool that it's refillable. Pick that up at Maverick. I don't know, a dollar or something. So that's another option. Now here we have the, the Scripto company again. Scripto Electronic, I think it says. Let's take a look and see. You can see, yeah, you definitely see the fuel level in there. With a flashlight. This one's also adjustable non-refillable to disposable but the thing I like about this one is if you try to just push it won't go you have to actually push this way with this little thing here and it gets it out of the way and then then you can click it so this one is kind of kind of cool because if you're gonna put it in your pack and it's rubbing around in there it's not gonna be going off and draining all your fuel where these other ones if that button gets pushed or something it's just going to sit there and bleed all your fuel off so that one's kind of cool scripto electronic kind of a cool little lighter adjustable flame go down real real small down to a birthday candle all the way up to a pretty decent little flame I like my flame something like that not too big not too small to me it's all about fuel conservation I don't want to burn all my fuel out then you have something like this and this one I bought it brand new had it for about three or four days and it stopped working it is a refillable lighter adjustable lighter but it quit on me so if you see these I don't even know who makes this or or what it is spark something made in China uh, it had a cool little flame and it lasted like I said less than a week and it was dead so that would definitely be one that I would not really recommend. Looks like it doesn't want to stand up. Then you get into these jet type. This one is kind of cool. It just says laser jet. I, I probably bought it at a gas station or something. I bought it a long time ago. It's refillable. Oh, I had it working earlier. You can adjust the flame. kind of hard to see what's going on there but it, it does have a little flame it's electronic you know it's got a little piezo igniter in there and you can definitely see how much fuel you have they're refillable and it has this little cap um, one thing I do like is you can lock this thing you slide this little red thing over and it, it'll lock on for you these are kind of cool but not I you know I don't know I'd probably do it in a pinch uh, which leads you to this kind of a, a lighter something like this. It's got a little flip top on it And it's it's kind of like a utility knife. It's got a little blade on it, which isn't sharp at all It's almost a 90 degree spine, you know, it's kind of a joke You have like a little can opener kind of corkscrew And this one was like, I don't know eight or nine bucks or something Puts out a decent flame though it's refillable and you can ch you can change the, the 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 height of the flame that's an option this one I liked a lot this one was Ronson this is basically a jet lighter kinda like a Zippo puts out a really nice little flame there it's refillable it has a adjuster where you can adjust the flame so that one was pretty cool kinda like that one then you get into your classic Zippos. Now all of these lighters that I show you right now, 
they can use butane fuel to fill them. The Zippos, they take lighter fluid. Okay, not butane. So this, this takes lighter fluid. This is kind of an older technology type, type lighter. I really like these. These are really good. They're easy to rebuild. You can set them there and they'll run. However, like that's the ship, one of the ships that I served on in the Navy. I've had this one since the early 90s. I mean, and they, they're, they're good lighters. Big, uh, excuse me, the uh, Zippos, you can't go wrong. Now, I've showed you all these lighters, and you're probably wondering which ones are your favorite. For me personally, one, two, and one of these Zippos. Those are my favorite lighters. If I was to take something in a pack, it would be one of those three. Preferably one of those two. These two right here, the Bic Classic and the Bic Mini, in my opinion, are the best lighters to have. I don't get any kickback from Bic. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't send me any money or nothing like that. They don't donate lighters to me. Nothing like that. I honestly feel that those are the best lighters that you could buy to put in your pack. Well, everybody, I want to say thank you for watching my video today on lighters, the pros and cons of them. I hope that you found some good useful information out of the video today please feel free as always to like this video share this video thumbs up this video and if you like the content on my channel please subscribe until next time have a beautiful day I'll talk to you later bye bye